Hello Center High School, I'm Savannah. Here are the announcements for Friday, March 15th, 2019. Dress up days are next week, so here's Emmy and Bella to tell you all about it. Hello Center High School, I'm Emmy Harmon. And I'm Bella Bruno, and next week is Powder Puff, so we have another spirit week. That's right, so let's get started with these days. Monday is pink versus blue day. Time to show which one is your favorite color. Tuesday is fan versus athlete day. Show which team you are a part of. Wednesday is workout versus couch potato day. Do you like being active or lazy? Thursday is floral versus flannel day. Show everyone which is more your style. And of course, we end the week off with Cougar Friday. Freshmen, you have Columbia Blue. Sophomores, you have Gold. Juniors, we have Navy. And of course, seniors, we wear White. Remember to make sure that everything you wear is school appropriate. Also remember to get your points at lunch. And just have fun. I'm Bella Bruno. And I'm Emmy Harmon. And, and thanks, thanks for, for watching CTV. Email your favorite photos of school events and activities for the Moving Up Rally to CHS Moving Up Rally 2019 at gmail.com. The last day to pay for AP exams is today. Bring your AP tech test sec selection form to the ASB window to pay for your tests. Students interested in applying for AP art should attend a short meeting in room 604 at 245 on Wednesday, March 20th. Bring your sketchbook and portfolio of your work for assessment. Students who signed up to purchase an AP cord should pay $7 at the ASB window. If you are planning to get your junior portraits taken at junior prom, pick up an order form at the student center today at, to see the prices and packages. Now it's time for our feature. On St. Patrick's Day this Sunday, people will dress up and do all kinds of things to celebrate. The question is, why do we do these things? And what is the celebration really about? Producer Bella Bruno created this story to help explain the meaning of St. Patrick's Day. Let's watch. We all know St. Patrick's Day is coming up on March 17th, so many people will be celebrating by wearing green, looking for four-leaf clovers, and other traditions. But why do we celebrate this way? Why do we even celebrate at all? Well, for some people, it is the day that honors St. Patrick on his official death date. So then who is the St. Patrick guy? St. Patrick, most commonly known as St. Patrick, was the foremost patron of Ireland. However, he was actually neither Irish nor originally a devout Christian. He was an enslaved British boy that escaped from slavery six years after being captured and then returned to Ireland as a missionary and later combined his teachings of Irish pagan with Christian sacrament. A very big misconception about him was that he drove all of the snakes out of Ireland. Now, if this were true, it would be quite an amazing story, aside from the fact that there were no snakes to drive out of Ireland. In fact, the water surrounding the island was too cold for snakes to migrate through, making it impossible that snakes could have ever existed in Ireland. One of the biggest traditions for St. Patrick's Day is to wear green. But why do we wear green? Well, after doing some very extensive research, wearing green was supposedly all about hiding from leprechauns. As the legend goes, if you didn't wear green, a fairy or leprechaun might pinch you. As a part of the St. Patrick's Day tradition, People would pinch anyone not wearing green as a reminder of the leprechauns lurking around. Another common tradition is to look for shamrocks and clovers. But what is a shamrock and why is it different from a clover? Well, the shamrock is a three-leaved clover. It was a symbol used by St. Patrick to illustrate the doctrine of Trinity. It has become a national symbol of Ireland. A four-leaf clover refers to a certain plant known as the white clover for its deep green flowering vine with white blossoms. It is the original shamrock plant of Ireland and the unofficial state symbol. The shamrock already has powerful associations, and its occasional production of an extra leaf makes the rare four-leaf clover especially lucky. So basically, St. Patrick's Day is a day to celebrate a guy that didn't do much, pinch people not wearing green, and go looking through the grass for a lucky shamrock. Well, however you choose to celebrate, happy St. Patrick's Day on behalf of all of the CTV staff. That's it for the news you can use. Thanks for watching CTV. See you next time.